What's going on swim fans? In this video, I'm gonna share with you how to swim butterfly. We're gonna start from the very basics and we're gonna walk through the stroke step by step. We're gonna talk about your breathing, what your arms should be doing, what your legs should be doing, how your body should be positioned in the water so that you can master this stroke. Oftentimes, people think butterfly is the most difficult stroke. And I would agree in a lot of ways, but it doesn't have to be that difficult. And in this video, we're gonna break it down. Make sure you watch the video until the very end so you can learn all the tips and tricks to master the butterfly stroke. So whether you're training for the individual medley or you just wanna improve your butterfly or learn the stroke completely from scratch, you've come to the right place. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video, and let me know what questions you have down below in the comments, and let's begin. Let's start with the butterfly arms. So butterfly, unlike freestyle, your arms are gonna be symmetrical, meaning they're both doing the same thing at the same time. Now what's confusing about butterfly is what your hands are doing above the water versus below the water. So underneath the water, you're actually gonna do two freestyle strokes at the same time. So you think about a butterfly pull, your hand is actually, your fingers are gonna be closed, and your hand is actually going to be pulling the water just like you would freestyle or front crawl but you're doing both of your arms at the same time. Now above the water, that's called the recovery phase of the stroke, your arms are actually going to be straight. You're gonna try and lock out your elbows and you're gonna recover, meaning the time between each of your pulls over the water with your arms straight. When your arms come around straight on that recovery phase, you're gonna enter the water at 11 and one, kind of like the arms on a clock, and you're gonna enter the water just in front of your shoulders and then you initiate the pull. So that's how you move your arms in butterfly. And when you're doing that, it's really important that your body position is really flat and high in the water. If your head is up, your hips are gonna sink. So make sure you keep your eyes looking down and that way your hips will be up. After we work on your arms, then we can work on our feet. Now in butterfly, you're doing what's called the dolphin kick. So similarly how your arms are symmetrical, your legs are going to be doing the same thing. You're gonna point your toes, your feet are together, and you're gonna do an undulation motion just like a dolphin, and that's called a dolphin kick. And when we put it all together, we have the butterfly stroke. Let's go ahead and give it a shot and see what it looks like. One of my favorite drills for butterfly that teaches your body how to move through the water and also improve your underwater dolphin kick is called flow. It engages your entire body from fingertips to toes while also stimulating the mind. In order to perform this drill, start by pushing off the wall in a superman position on your stomach with your arms extended and on the surface of the water. Now Superman flies with his hands in a fist, but for this drill, you'll want your hands open and your fingertips right at the surface of the water. Use your upper body to press your chest down, allowing your hips to rise up above the water. Now your face should be looking down, and the goal of this drill is to mimic a dolphin motion on the surface of the water. Now your head should remain on the surface of the water with your eyes looking down. Your body should look like a sine curve on a graph, oscillating up and down in equal proportion. Although most of the forward momentum is being generated by your chest and your hips moving up and down, this motion actually starts with your palms and extends all the way through your body to your toes. Focus on using every centimeter of musculature through your entire body, including the top of your diaphragm down through your hip flexors and your quads down to your feet. Don't forget that the dolphin motion has an up and down force, meaning you'll need to engage musculature on your backside as well as your lower back, glutes, and hamstrings. Now this is the fundamental body position in butterfly. When you need to breathe, simply lift your head up or use a snorkel, and I definitely say using fins can really help you feel the forward progress of this drill, and it allows you to engage your entire body and truly find your flow. Now let's talk about the pull. When you swim butterfly, you should be trying to maintain your arms at shoulder width through the pull phase underwater. Now naturally, as you finish the stroke, your hands and arms will come closer to your body so that the exit of the water is where your hands are fully extended at your side. At this point, your hands are past your waist and the goal is to keep your arms as straight as possible on the recovery phase of the stroke. You might be thinking to yourself, how do you breathe in butterfly? Before we talk about breathing in butterfly, I want to share a piece of equipment that can dramatically improve your swimming performance. 
Meet the Aqua Knuckles. Now this training tool will actually increase your force in the water by up to 10% and make you swim up to 2.5% faster. The Aqua Knuckles are really, really easy to use. They slide onto your middle finger and ring finger and sit right below your knuckle and above your hand. You have one for each hand and the goal of these is to practice what's called open finger swimming. I'm not telling you to swim with your hands wide open, just separate your fingers a little bit so there's a 5 to 10 millimeter gap between the top of each finger. If you watch the best swimmers in the world, you'll notice that their fingers have a little bit of separation between them and it's to increase the total surface area that your hand has to propel yourself forward. Now the Aqua Knuckles come in a few different sizes and they're actually color coded so they look pretty slick and they're a great addition to your equipment bag. You can pick them up at the link in the description below and there's even a 15% discount for the MySwimPro community. So be sure to check them out and take your swimming to the next level. Now let's talk about breathing. When you breathe in Butterfly, you only need to lift your head high enough to make a clear path for air to enter through your mouth. Lifting your head too high or holding your head up for too long out of the water will cause your hips to sink and lose forward momentum. You should leave your chin above the surface of the water through the duration of the pull phase as you take the breath. Then, as you begin to recover your arms, lower your chin and face back under the surface of the water. Your head should return to a neutral body line position with your eyes looking at the bottom of the pool by the time you finish the recovery phase. As your head lowers into the water, you'll also want to press your chest down to raise your hips up. A few other drills that are great for butterfly training include single arm butterfly and swimming butterfly arms with a freestyle kick. These are two different drills and for the latter when you swim butterfly pull and freestyle kick, this reinforces the underwater power phase of the stroke and it actually flattens the stroke to promote a higher tempo. I love doing this drill with fins for added power. Now just like any other drill, do it in moderation over short distances to make sure you have proper form and prevent over fatigue. If you're looking for more technique drills for butterfly and mastering all the other strokes like breaststroke, freestyle, and backstroke, be sure to download the MySwimPro app available for iPhone and Android. You'll find hundreds of videos, workouts, and structured training plans to help you take your swimming to the next level. Butterfly can be an extremely challenging stroke, but it doesn't have to be. I hope you enjoyed this butterfly tutorial. If you haven't checked out our other tutorials on how to swim perfect backstroke, breaststroke, or freestyle, make sure you check them out linked in the description below. And also make sure you're subscribed to the channel, like this video, and let me know what questions you have down below in the comments. I wish you guys the very best and happy swimming.